Hi, I'm Kevin Hartley and welcome to Kevin Hartley Photography in my office. This is a channel that I've set up to share my experiences of wildlife and nature with others. So let's go. Of all the genres of uh, birds, I would say that the, the family group of finches are one of the most colourful. And certainly the goldfinch, uh, which is one of our smallest finches here in the UK, is certainly a very colourful bird. There are basically three goldfinches in the world, two in North America and one here in Europe, the European goldfinch. And that's the, the bird that I'm going to concentrate in this video. So what I want to do in this video is share with you my approach to photographing goldfinches. And what we'll do is we'll look at how to identify them. And it is quite difficult telling the, the difference between the male and female. So I'll go into that in a little bit of detail. We'll look at their habitat, where you can find them, look at some of the behavior, and then I'll go through my approach to photographing goldfinches and I'll give you some top tips. Okay, so how do we identify the goldfinch? Well, the goldfinch is a highly colored finch with a, a bright, it's got a really bright red face, uh, a black crown and, and white cheeks. Um, the bill is very long and, and pointed and that's designed to extract seeds, which I'll, I'll go through in a little bit of detail uh, as part of their diet. They have a golden brown body You've got black and white wings and they also have a, a, a yellow wing patch as, as well. The juveniles um, lack the red face of the adults. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the, 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 the difference between the males and the females in a little bit of detail. Um, as I said, it can be quite difficult. Um, first of all we're going to look at the, the bird's face and the red patch on it and you'll notice that on the male goldfinch the red, pa the red patch is larger than it is on the female and the red is a bit more intense. One of the most identifying features and this is the difficult part is if you look at the bird's eye on the male the red patch extends as a very small ledge uh, above the eye. So that little red patch extends slightly beyond the eye. Whereas on the female, the red patch does not extend beyond the eye. Another point to note is that on the female, the yellow wing patch is slightly shorter. Okay, let's summarize that by looking really close up against the, the goldfinch's head to tell the differences. As we can see on the male, um, it has a, a large red patch and there is a red ledge that continues behind the eye. Point to note here, and this is very difficult, um, and you, you probably won't be able to tell the difference until you look at it in the photograph, is that on the male they have black nasal hairs. On the female you'll notice that there is no red extension beyond the eye and they have white nasal hairs. So that's the, 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 the main difference to tell between male and female goldfinches. Another identifying feature of the goldfinches is called um, goldfinch call is a, it's quite a pleasant um, rambling of twittering and tinkling sounds at best. Um, goldfinches have been uh, have been well renowned to, to, to make, make other birds and in fact back in um, Victorian times um, people used to keep caged goldfinches purely because of the song and here it is. Okay, when it comes to the, the, the goldfinch diet, the goldfinches feed mainly on seeds, things like ragwort, dandelions, teasels and thistles. And I'll talk about teasels in quite a bit of detail um, because it tends to be the, the, the favourite. Um, they will at times often eat small, small insects. Uh, in winter, uh, autumn, late autumn, winter, goldfinches will, will, will easily come to, to, to bird tables and gardens and feeder stations. Um, the favourite um, seed to put out for the, the goldfinch is the Niger seed. They absolutely love them and they will come readily to, to bird tables and feeder stations as I said. Um, and it's the, the long bill of the goldfinch that allows them to actually extract these seeds. One of the best places to find goldfinches is, is in the autumn time is to find the, the, the plant which is known as teasel. 
uh, and this is a teasel here. Uh, it's actually in its dried out state now and that's when the seeds become accessible for the goldfinches to feed on. And I've got some pictures which I can show you here now. So where are we going to find the goldfinch? Well, goldfinches um, will be found in places like orchards, parks, gardens, and as I said, bird tables and feeder stations will attract them as well. Basically, anywhere, anywhere where there are scattered trees and bushes, a bit like the terrain which, which I'm in here at the moment. Um, lots of dandelion, lots of teasel, uh, and that attracts and, and brings the, the, the goldfinches in. Basically, anywhere you're going to find teasels or thistles, you should find goldfinches. Okay, what's my... <laughs> Okay, what's my approach to, to photographing goldfinches? Well, in my experience is that the best place is for you to set yourself up near a bird table or at a feeder station. And um, once the birds start coming regularly um, to feed, you should get the opportunity that you're after to photograph them. So, tip number four for goldfinches is bird table or a feeder station. When it comes to camera settings, um, Goldfinches are very skittish and very fidgety uh, and they move about a lot and they, they, they very often will, will, it's not very often that they will sit very still. Therefore, I'd recommend the following settings. Um, for a bird that's on a bird table or a, a feeder station, you're looking at f.7.1, f one one thousandth of a second and I always shoot in auto ISO. When it comes to goldfinches in flight, the best opportunity you're going to get and, and, and the best picture you, that you can get is that goldfinches can often get into conflict with other goldfinches. They do it all the time, um, squabbling and, and squawking at each other. Uh, and, and you can get them in flight at each other as, we, as can be seen in this picture. So when it comes to a, a picture like this, you're looking at a settings of around about F, F8, gives you that little bit more depth of field. You've got a couple of birds in it. Um, comes to shutter speeds, you've got to up your shutter speed, they're very fast little birds, so you're looking at, I would suggest, around about 1 3200th of a second. 1 3200th of a second, and as I said, I always shoot an auto ISO. Okay, tip number three. Um, if there's one thing that will attract the goldfinch to a bird table or a feeder station, as I've said, it is Niger seeds. It really is the top number one seed of choice for goldfinches. If you put Niger seeds out onto your bird table or at a feeder station, you're almost certain that if there are goldfinches around, they will be attracted to your bird table or your feeder station. A good idea if you've got your own feeder station or even um, you've got feed out for the birds in your garden is to pick a, a a dead teasel and use it as a post uh, in your garden or in your feeder station and spread some niger seeds on it and hopefully the goldfinches will come to it. Okay, tip number two. It's all about background. I've said this in, in virtually all my um, videos that when, when you're photographing birds that, that the background uh, is as important as the actual image that you're trying to photograph. Now it can be quite difficult with goldfinches because of the habitat that they frequent and they live in and they feed in. Uh, it's normally you've got very busy backgrounds so it can be quite difficult to get that separation between the bird and the background as you, you, you'll see in some of these photographs. But even so, what you need to remember is that when you're looking at a background, you, you need to be shooting with your aperture as wide uh, uh, as it can be. On my uh, Canon RF 
100 to 500. The widest aperture for me is 7.1, but I find that um, it's good enough um, to, to, to get the backgrounds that I'm after. Okay, top tip number one for goldfinches is teasels. Um, the classic image that you're after of a goldfinch is a goldfinch on a teasel or feeding on a teasel. Um, and I'll leave you now with what are, what are some of my favourite um, images of goldfinches. Okay, thanks for watching this edition of Kevin Hartley Photography and how to photograph goldfinches. I'm sure you'll, you'll agree with me that they're beautiful coloured uh, little birds. Um, the principles that I've applied in this video uh, of how to go about photo a go a go photographing a goldfinch will apply to all finches, um, whether it's a chaffinch, a greenfinch or any members of the, 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 finch, the, the finch family. Uh, all I would ask is that if you've liked it, could I ask you to hit the like button? Could I also ask you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel Kevin Hartley Photography, would you consider to do so? Uh, it doesn't cost anything, it's completely free, and it just keeps giving me that um, incentive to, to, to keep coming out into the, the countryside and photographing and sharing my experiences of wildlife with, other, with others. So, until the next time, stay safe. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.